Okay, it's on. Hey guys, long time no, uh, update make. It's been like a week or something since we last updated, I think. Around a week, yeah. Y yeah, sorry about that, it's just that, oh man, things have been crazy around here. I won't get into that right now though. But, eh, who am I kidding? No pony actually likes my stupid blog anyway. Oh boy, here we go. I bet I lost a zillion followers by now. Heh! <laughs> Whatever. You guys can all just all go f f Sorry you had to see her like this. I'm sure she'll be back to answering your questions. After she recovers from the hangover. Drinking is so stupid. Pingamina should stick with normal vices. I mean, how could she do that to herself? And not give me any! Hey, Scoots, how about while Pinkamina is recovering from her hangover, how about you answer some questions for us? I don't know. I'll try. Anonymous asked, Would you try to take Sweetie Belle or Apple Bloom's number out of the lottery? Are you kidding? I can't wait until their numbers come up. To experience the last moments of my best friends, to know that the last thing they will see will be me. Anonymous asked, Hey Scoots, have you thought about styling your hair like Pink Amina? Or is that impossible if you're not depressed enough? Thought about it. She says that depression is what gets it so pretty. But how's a pony supposed to get depressed in a place like this? Anonymous asked, How did you end up working with Miss Pink Amina? Anonymous asked, How did you become Pink Amina's assistant? Anonymous asked, how did you and Pinkamina become partners? Flaming Jellison asks, So, Scootaloo, how exactly did you meet up with Pinkamina? It doesn't seem like the topics of cannibalism, rape, and bondage come up in the conversation much. Well, I guess it's... Story time! Not too long ago, I was still living with my mom and dad. I used to think that my parents were mean, but my teachers said that every parent loves their young. They just show it in their own way. So one night, I decided to love my mom more than she ever loved me, and it was the most fun I had in a long time. I was so busy with my mom, I didn't notice Pink Amina come into my house. Turns out, my dad's number came up. She saw that I was enjoying myself and asked me if I would like to have more fun alongside her. She didn't need to ask me twice, so we went to find my dad. After a while of searching, we found him. I think he heard us talking. I was a bit sad that I couldn't have fun with my dad, but Pink Amina said we would have fun later. And I've been living and working with her ever since. The end. You are so adorable when you're covered in blood. Hey, Scootaloo. Where's my camera? I'm ready to answer some more questions now. Okay, Miss Pink Amina. I'll bring it to you in a second. Sorry guys, uh, I guess I'll try to answer some more of your questions later. But now I'll let Miss Pinkamina answer some more of your questions. See you guys later. Claus Prower asked, What are you going to do to Fluttershy and why? The art piece, formerly known as Fluttershy, is currently residing above my fireplace. I'm actually just about to go finish up, adding the final details to her. Now, as to why I did it. It is because I am, among other things, an artist. For example, I made this sweatshirt out of berry punch. Who visited us recently? A little crude, but very comfortable. The only problem is, it smells like alcohol, vomit, tears, and shame. Anonymous asked, Show us you with poofy hair, even if you have to blow dry it or something. I guess you mean like this. It gets this way sometimes when I sleep. It's almost always when I wake up from this one particular dream. I'm at a party, I think, at Super Cube Corner. And all my best friends are there. And they're so happy to see me. Even Dashy. They all say they forgive me for all the terrible things I've done. Everything is okay. Everything. I always feel something strange. Like happiness. Wake up. 